What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Oh my God, I've missed you. But there's been no news for the last couple days. But we put together a few stories for you because I missed you so much and I wanted to come back. Our first story is a channel that we discovered that appeared to be extremely kid friendly. It is called Fun Kids Smile. Look, it's got Mickey and Minnie Mouse and their extended family and there's rainbows and trees and everyone looks happy. Now I imagine that a bunch of younger kids are browsing through YouTube, see these videos and click on it to see what it's all about. And to our surprise, when we clicked on one of these videos, we found Mickey and Minnie Mouse babies missing, abducted, lethal injection, Mickey and Minnie Mouse cl <laughs> Mickey! <laughs> Mickey Mouse Clubhouse cartoons full. I just, I did, I, I, I'm out of words, I'm out of words. Um, and more related to YouTube news. Uh, some channels are going through some troubles with the ad boycott, and they have decided to uh, blackmail their fans. A 30-minute video was uploaded to a channel called Chilling Tales of Dark Nights. Now, this channel tells creepy, creepy ghost stories and, you know, murders and stabbings and all this crazy stuff, right? But with the new ad boycott, they're not making any money. So they had literally privated all their videos and blacked out their channel and said that the videos won't return until they get at least $3,000 a month on Patreon. God damn. Now, another person in this genre of YouTube, Rob Dyke, he had some choice words about them. This is what he said on the Twitter. Roll it. But to see another horror channel which is chilling tales for dark nights i've worked with them before to see them shame fucking fans i'm just telling you right now because i know we have a lot of fans between the both of us do not be shamed into giving them any money do not let that fucking happen their own failure is going to be their own fault because they couldn't just they couldn't make it work with what they have so they private all of their videos and they're saying our channel's going dark until you pay up until you pay us three thousand dollars a month and until then forget it and fans are like wow i i feel like a complete fucking asshole now fuck you with all due fucking respect i used to have a lot of respect for chilling tales and then i comment on their facebook page saying all this shit like dude you got to respect your fans very politely they delete everything and then they start a live stream talk shit about me because, oh, I'm so big and I wouldn't understand. And then when I get there, they start deleting my posts. Fuck off. I gotta agree with Rob, man. It, it, it sucks that, you know, some of these genres on YouTube are just not making any money. But you can't, you can't blackmail your fans. Give me X amount of money or I'm not, I'm not doing YouTube anymore. That's just fucking wrong. But listen, there is a community here on YouTube that is really, really suffering right now. And that community is... The COD community. Basically, the new Call of Duty is COD World War II. And because they have like Nazi zombies and all that stuff, in their titles and in their tags, they're putting World War II or they're putting Nazi zombies. And because of those keywords, their videos aren't making any goddamn money. T Martin tweeted out the Call of Duty World War II ad boycott is real. Four videos, 750,000 views, 1.5 million minutes watched but only $95 in revenue. And another popular COD YouTuber known as Prestigious Key, well, he wanted to do an experiment on his channel. So he uploaded a video of him just saying that the milk is spoiled, and then he compared it to one of his Call of Duty videos, showing that the milk is expired video made $40, but his Call of Duty video almost got 100,000 views, and he only made 10 bucks. You know, I must say, I feel so bad for the COD community. I mean, they had a horrible game last year that nobody wanted to watch on YouTube, that, that no one really cared about, and now that they're finally getting a good game, the YouTube ad boycott is completely fucking them because, you know, World War II and Nazi zombies are in the titles and tags. I, these guys can't catch a break. But one Call of Duty YouTuber, well, he doesn't just do Call of Duty. He does a bunch of stuff. His name is Wolfless. He had a awesome idea. He suggested that viewers could donate X amount of dollars on individual videos, and that money would go to the creators. In return, the people that donate 
would get their comments towards the top of all the comments on these videos. I actually think that that's a good idea. However, I think there's gonna be a lot of self-promotion if that were to be a thing. Also in the news, our mine strikes again. Today they hacked. The official YouTube Reddit has been completely hacked and taken over by our mine. And now for our final story. See, I told you there's like no news. Nothing's really going on, but I I'm trying my best here. Give me a break. But this story right here is funny. Um, it's kind of scary, but it's funny. The video is from Ross Creations titled, Going to Jail for Removing Unnecessary Stop Signs. We have a short clip for you of him removing a stop sign. Roll it. <laughs> and now we have a short clip of him getting arrested. Roll it. And now this YouTuber is asking fans for donation because he's facing a goddamn felony. <laughs> so stupid it's so dumb it's just it's so dumb ladies and gentlemen that's it for the news uh i want to talk to you about a few things so if you could just calm down sit, sit back you know breathe in and get ready for me to lay it on you um i am suffering just like every other channel with this youtube ad boycott because i have content that is considered mature but I'm not going to beg you for money, all right? I'm not going to open a Patreon. But what I will do is figure out different sources of revenue for Drum Alert. And one of those sources are a merch store. You guys have been asking for it for years. You guys have been begging me for a merch store. So I've been, I've been thinking about it, and I'm going to move forward with it. It's probably not going to be ready for, you know, a week, maybe two weeks um, but I, I think I'll have something for everyone. You know, there, I have so many different types of fans. I have a lot of jock fans, a lot of nerd fans, and a lot of, um, you know, comedy meme fans. So I figured I would have some, you know, some, some dope jockey sports apparel stuff for my jocks. I'll have some nerd shit and I'll probably have some Keemstar gnome t-shirts for, for you, you fucking retards that like to pick on me. So look forward to that uh, coming soon. And then also, me, Colossal is Crazy, Andy Milanakis, and anything for views. Had a little circle jerk on the Philip DeFranco situation. We did a whole podcast about it. I, I, It's not really a circle jerk because our opinions are a very unpopular opinion. But I strongly suggest, I really, really want you to watch this podcast and tell me what your thoughts are. So the link to that podcast is going to be in the description. If you are watching this on desktop, you can just click right here and go right directly to it. It's about 45 minutes long. Um, and, and that's it. I'm so glad that I am back. I have missed you. And hopefully we get we get a bunch of news going on so I can, you know, fill, fill you right in for that Patreon cash. If you enjoyed this video, please slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation now over 1,800,000 subscribers.